What's going on guys, Nesmarkip here back in for day 8 of the 12 days of anime. So, today's series is... Hunter Hunter. Okay, so, if Umalakuma's Brotherhood was a kind of shonen where it didn't seem like a shonen, Hunter Hunter is a show that seems very shonen but just done in the most perfect way possible. Like, this is if you just take a fairly basic shonen formula but just do everything right, basically. Um, I should clarify, actually, that um, I'm talking about the 2011 remake version of Hunter x Hunter. I'm not talking about the manga or the original 1999 anime adaption. Um, so, yeah, that's the one I'm going to be focusing on here. Um, so, yeah, Hunter x Hunter is basically set in this world where there are these people called hunters. And um, to become a hunter, you must pass the hunter exam. And then when you're a hunter, you can, you're basically exempt from most laws in the world. You have loads of money and you can get into places that most other people can't get to. So it follows this one kid called Gon, who decides, I'm going to become a hunter. And then it sprawls out into this massive story from there. Um, but that's basically where it starts, and I think I'll leave it at that, because I really don't want to spoil anything. Um, but yeah, so, that's Hunter Hunter, that's where it begins. And it's such a shame, because the manga of Hunter Hunter is often put on hiatus, and it's something that really deserves to be on top of the pile of shonen more than, say, One Piece. Um, because it's just so much better written, and just everything about it's better, except the art, actually. For the manga, anyway, the art isn't very good, but that's another thing. Um, it, right, it, like, it's almost, it's sort of got the beginnings of that fantastic world building that One Piece has, and I'd really like to see that expanded. Um, it's a show with a lot of, lot of potential, and what we've seen so far is already fantastic, but it just needs to go further, and for that we need the author to carry on writing. But, uh, yeah, that's for the main sort of story, that's how good that is. The characters are really, really great, uh, for the most part. Like, what I really liked is for the first few arcs, like, the main character, Gon, isn't the most powerful guy just passing everyone, oh, look at his potential, he's amazing, and just destroying everyone in his path like a lot of other, sh lot of other shonens do. Um, it's really, um, fairly balanced between all the characters, and, like, Gon's definitely not the strongest character in the first arc. Um, which is... You know, something actually pretty rare to see in Shonen's, like I said. So, that's really good with the characters, and they're all pretty likeable as well. Leorio is my favourite, who uh, you'll meet, I believe, in like the first episode or something. Um, so, yeah. The animation is absolutely top-notch. It's Madhouse who animates the 2011 version, and there has not been a badly animated episode. It's just absolutely fantastic, so yeah. Um, and yeah, I mean... That's basically it for Hunter x Hunter. It's basically what I'd like to call the perfect Shonen. It's like... If you just took the basic formula from a shonen and just did everything right, you get Hunter x Hunter, really. So, you know, if you're into your One Piece, your Dragon Ball, whatever, there is, like, no reason to not check this out. It's just so well done. So, yeah, Hunter x Hunter. Uh, it's currently airing weekly. It's not over yet, and, well, I doubt it's going to go bad anytime soon. So, you know, there you go. Uh, check it out, definitely. So, there you go. All right, guys, that was day eight. Thanks for listening, and tune in tomorrow for day number nine. See you then.